Assalamualaikum. Thank you for joining us for the last Ramadan series. My name is Samaya Kaku. I'm the secretary for the board of directors for the organization. This evening, we commemorate Shama Gariba, the night where the widows, children, and family of the Imam and his companions were left to fend for themselves after the death of the men. We will be joined by Sheikh Arif, but first we shall have an address by the president of the organization, Abdul Aziz Doji. Following this, we shall have a marshia by Mohsin Dala. As Samaya shared on an evening like this, just want to share our tribute. I pen it as an all evil sorrow. Tell me, all oh, evil sorrow, tell me, where should Zainab go? Oh Lord, show me the way. Show me, where should Zainab go? True to the name, the sands of Karbobala is filled with the martyrs, shrouded only in their own blood. The cloud in the sky hides the sun, as if in shame. O oh, eve of sorrow, how can I see through the dispersed garden? Destroyed is the mother's household. Who is there now to comfort and support on what is left of this evening? What were once the tents now alight on fire, lying in ruins? O oh, eve of sorrow, tell me, where should Zainab go? As the night of calamity descends, Bibi Zainab gathers the ladies and the children into one small space in between the gutted tanks. Zainal Abidin lay on the ground surrounded by the windows and the orphans. There is no more fire, no light. Only the moon casts its dull light into shame. Looking at what is left of the cradle comes a cry of Aliasna. From the evening caller of prayers is the cry of Ali Akbar. In a sajda is a cry of the brother. Assalamu ya Aba Abdullah. Each of the martyrs calling out for a shroud. Oh my, the torture of thirst. The dried throat calling out as she calls out, tell me, where should Zainab go? Like an exhausted traveler calling out for more, tell me, where should Zainab go? How much of assurance a mother holds seeing the scattered bodies around the pearls of patience is within the heart. Someone call my Baba. Is there anyone out there to call on Ali? Oh, grandfather, look what they have done to your Hussein. Tell me, tell me where should Zainab go? Oh, Eve of sorrow, tell me, tell me where should Zainab go? As the tears roll down the cheeks as these verses are penned in remembrance of the plight and the pains of this evening, but if it had not been for Hussein ibn Ali, we would not be where we are. We would not know what it is to be human, let alone what humanity holds. On this eve of Shami Gariba, <clears throat> the night of those who have been left alone without their protector, without their master. What words can we choose or think of describing? But in the words of a poet, we will remember 
the chief Bibi Zainab. <clears throat> Gabraengi Zainab Gabraengi Zainab Kaisa ye bhara ghar huwa barbaad ilahi kya अब इसको नाबाद कभी पाएगी ज़ेनाब घबरा हट जाएगा बस देखते ही घर को कले जा याद आओगे दिल ढूंढेगा तुमको तो कहाँ बेपर्दा हुई कैद भी खाहर ने उठाई और मौत न क्या जानिए क्या क्या भी दुख पाएगी ज़ेनाब घबराएगी ज़ेनाब घर जा है नाब बास अकबर भी नहीं पास अपने अली असगर को कहा घबराएगी ज़ेनाब नन्ना सा 
मुसाफिर अली असगर भी तो भैया घर में ना मिलेगा किससे दिले बेताब को बहलाएंगी जैना घबराएंगी जैना पूछेंगे जो सब लोग के बाजू पहुआ क्या ये नील है कैसा किस किस को निशान रस्सी के दिखलाएंगी जैना घबराएंगी जैना थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दोज रेसिटेशन वी वुड लाइक टू नाउ स्टार्ट द लेक्चर Sheikh Arif Abdul Hussain is the founder and director of the Al Mehdi Institute in Birmingham, United Kingdom. He has been at the forefront of developing and delivering advanced Islamic studies for over two decades, tailored towards training students to be capable of addressing the needs of contemporary societies. Please, can we welcome him with the salawat? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabb al-Alamin. والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وآله الطيبين الطاهرين أما بعد فإن لله وإنا إليه راجعون سفر has a effect of purifying us if we are able to direct ourselves to Allah through it the sort of suffering that imam hussein encountered is indescribable and truly unbearable what a warrior he was to see the death of abbas is not easy to see the death of akbar is not easy what broke him though was the death of one who had no weight when asghar was killed in his arms this was the first time on the plains of ashura that this great warrior lion of god the throne of strength of god was brought to his knees there were very very difficult moments on hussein but hussein tasted martyrdom after that what can you say of those who lived on after the martyrdom of hussein there is a mother who has lost a 6 month old baby There is a little Sakina who has lost her Hussein. There is Zainab who has lost her Hussein and Abbas. What can describe what was felt by the women who until the morning were surrounded by the moons of Hashemis? the likes of akbar abbas the brothers of abbas hussein 
and great champions such as Muslim, Ibn Ausaja, Zuhair, Hur. What can be understood of the grief that they felt? It is the late afternoon <coughs> on the day of Ashura. Umm Salama sleeps. She sees the messenger of Allah in her dreams. His hair is unkempt and his expression is filled with distress. She cries out, O messenger, is the final hour about to dawn upon us? He says, Umm Salama, Look at the dust of Karbala that I gave to you. She awakens and she looks at the dust and it is changing color. Zuljana, realizing that Hussein will be slaughtered, gallops back to the tents, neighing out aloud. Sakina recognizing the neighing of the steed of her father runs out of the tent. She sees Zuljana. She says, Oh Zuljana, why is your saddle turned? Why is your mane dripping of blood of my father? Oh Zuljana, where have you left my father? Zuljana, tell me. Did they give him a drop of water or did they behead him upon the burning thirst? Hussein has been killed. His body is being plundered. Every belonging of Hussein has been snatched away from his body. Even the ring that he wore, in order to extract it, they cut off his finger. The godless people then turned their attention towards the tents in order to plunder them. As they rushed into the tents like beasts, four to five little children were trampled beneath their feet and lost their lives. The women were crying out aloud, O Muhammad, O Ali, someone come to our aid. Zainab realizing that her veil will be snatched, exited the tent. As she came out, Shimur saw her. She ran, he pursued her and hit her upon her back with the knot of his spear. She falls to the ground unconscious. Her veil is snatched. When she regains consciousness, she sees Hussein's elder daughter ahead of her. She goes to Hussein's daughter. She awakens and says, Oh aunt, do you have a cloth by which I can cover my head? Zainab says, Oh child, your aunt is as deprived as you are of a veil. Let us go back and take news of your ailing brother. When they come to the tents, they see Zainul Abideen upon his face of the dust. They had extracted his bedding with such force. He said, O oh, aunt, I saw my sisters, my mothers, and the women of the household of the Prophet crying out, asking for help, and I was unable to move. Zainab comforts Zainul Abideen. As they all gather within one tent, there is a call from outside the tents, O oh, women, exit the tents and prepare for captivity. The women respond not, 
the call is sounded again and again. Zainab sent out a message with Fizza. Tell Umar ibn Sa'ad to hand us back our veils and we shall go with him. He responded and said, Tell Zainab she is no longer the princess she was. Prepare for captivity. The women hesitate. The orders are given to torch the tents and set them alight. Hamid ibn Muslim says, as the tents burnt, I saw women and children spread within the plains of Karbala, stumbling over rocks and dead bodies. I saw their feet wounded, burnt, bruised, walking over thorns they bled. In the midst of all of this, I saw a young child whose garments had caught fire. I went near her to put out the fire. She ran from me, I said, fear not. I do not come to chastise you. She said, oh man, you seem like a good soul. Direct me to the road that leads to Najaf. I said, why, O oh child? She said, I will ask the passers-by to come and bury my father. The children are spread within the plains of Karbala. Zainab calls on to Mekulthum and says, Umme Kulthum, let us gather our children and bring them back. Umar ibn Sa'ad asks for four volunteers with the promise of great rewards to trample upon the body of Hussein. Four horsemen come forward and turn by turn they mutilate the body of Hussein. Later on when they go to Umar Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad to claim their reward they say to Allah, we trampled his body to an extent that had you placed your hand upon his chest, you would have found it as soft as knitted dough. Zainab looks for children. There were two young girls in the embrace of each other. Zainab and Kulthum try to awaken the two little girls. Nothing could have prepared them for what they were about to face. They realized that the two little girls had died, either through the raging horses trampling upon them, or through fear and thirst. They weep. Their sorrow knows no end. Finally, they say, Sakina is not to be found anywhere. Zainab is filled with distress and anguish. The child was handed to me in trust by my brother. What shall I do if something happens to Sakina? He may have looked towards the Euphrates and called out, Oh Abbas, has your Sakina come to you? The banks of the Euphrates are silent. She turns to Akbar, Akbar, has Hussein's Sakina come to you? Akbar is silent. Bewildered Zainab calls out Sakina, Sakina, until she enters into a shallow place where she sees Sakina in the embrace of a headless body. She goes near Sakina as she tries to remove Sakina. 
The child says, Oh, and separate me not from the body of my father. Zainab asks, Oh child, this body has no head. How do you know it is the body of your father? She said, Oh, aunt, when Shimmer slapped me, when my earrings got snatched, when my garments caught fire, I called out, Oh, father, why have you forsaken your Sakina? Oh, father, why do you not come to my aid? I called out to my father, and I ran in this direction. And this body gestured to me, Come to me, O oh child. And I slept upon his chest. O oh, Maribad Saad, Good news, the two little children had lost their lives through thirst and fear. He summoned the wife of Hur. He gave her water and said, Deliver it to the women folk of Al Hussein. As she advanced, Zainab was guarding the women who were gathered around a half-burnt tent, crying and lamenting and complaining to Zaina of the tribulations that had befallen them. Some said that they were whipped mercilessly upon their backs, whilst others said that they were slapped. Zainab sees a shadowy figure approaching them, she calls on to Mekuthu and she says, It is the wife of Hor that approaches us. As Hor's wife comes closer, Zainab says, We offer to you the condolences of the death of your husband. She said, May a thousand Hor be sacrificed over you. O household of the Prophet, I bring water for you. Zainab looked at the water and she wept, remembering her brother and the thirst of Hussein. Then she called on to Sakina. She said, Oh child, come and drink some water. The child asks, has my uncle Abbas returned? The Zakirin narrate in their impressions that holding a broken spear, Zainab guarded the women who slept around a burning tent. From afar, she sees a rider approaching. Her heart is filled with unease. O oh, rider, she cries out. My children have just fallen asleep. They are brutally oppressed. Do not come near us. The rider comes closer. Zainab cries out, there is nothing to take, everything has been taken. The rider stops not. Zainab says, if you must, then come back in the morning. The rider does not stop. When he comes close, in a rage, she advances towards the horse grabs the reins and she says, do you not know I am the daughter of Ali? As the rider unveils his face, she steps back and she says, oh father, you come now when my Hussein has been taken away from me. 
ألا لعنة لهذا القوم الظالمين وسيعلم الذين ظلموا أي منقلبين ينقلبون رحم الله من قرأ الفاتحة رسول محمد وآل محمد The Islam I'm reciting is a salutation and an expression of condolence to the bereaved members of Imam Hussein's family and a rendition of their heartaches on Sham e Gariba. <clears throat> Salam, khak nashino pe sogwaron ka Gharib dete hai pursa tumhare pyaaron ka Salam, tum pe hamare Rasul ke pyaro Salam tum pe rasoolo Batool ke pyaro Salam un pe jine sharm Khai jati hai Kulesaron pe asiri ki khak aati hai Salam us pe jo zahmat kashe salasil hai Musibaton mein imamat ki Pahli manzil hai Salam Bejit hai Apni Chahzadi Ke jin Ko sump gaye Marte Wakht gar Sarwar Musafirat ne jise bebasi ye diklai Nisar kar diye bachche na bach saka bhai Asir ho ke jise chamiyon ke Nargham Husayniyat hai sikhana Ali ke lehjem Sakina bibi tumhare Ghulam hazir Ujjhe jo piyas to ashko ke jam hazir hai Yasin ye hashr ye sadme na ye na ye bibi Kahaan pe baichi ho khayme to jal gaye bibi زمین گرم یتیمی کی سختیاں بی بی وہ سینہ جس پہ کے سوتی تھی اب کہاں بی بی جناب مادر بیشیر کو بھی سب کا سلام عجیب وقت ہے کیا دے تسلیوں کا پیام ابھی کلج میں ایک آگ سی لگی ہوگی ابھی 
तो गोद की गर्मी न कम हुई होगी नहीं अंदर में कुछ सूझता कहां जूझे तुम्हारा चांद कहा छुप गया कहा झूझे न इस तरह कोई खेती हरी भरी उजड़ी तुम्हारी मांग भी उजड़ी है कोख भी उजड़ी नहीं नहीनों में इंसान कोई खुदा दरिंदे और ये बे वार से खुदा सलाम महसन इस्लाम खस्तन लाशो सलाम तुम पे शहीदों के बेकफन लाशो बचे तो अगले बरस हम है और ये गम फिर है जो चल बसे तो ये अपना सलाम आखिर है Yes, how fortunate we are. Who knows? Brings to mind so many of the members on the board that were with us last year. Where are they today? We just count our blessings. Count our blessings for all the endowments that we have been blessed with. As for you, Sheikh Arif, you've been calling us to mind on the, what it takes for the unification of the mind, body, and the soul in being God-centric. Uniting the self for the truth and justice for humanity, you leave us with that quest. With the sincere prayers that we'll be blessed to be able to commemorate next year. As for those that are no longer with us, with sincere prayers for their souls to be raised heavenly aboard. We pay our condolences to our awaited Imam. And for the rest of you, our members, we acknowledge and thank you. We're deeply indebted. May you always stay safe and well. And for you, Sheikh Arif, on behalf of every one of us, and I speak on behalf of all our members and my board members, you stay blessed. You are precious. God bless you. Jazakallah. Ma'assalamu ya akhi. I know we have imposed on you to the late hours. I know exactly what time it is at your end, but you have recorded us. It's that truthness in your soul that makes you who you are. Stay blessed. I'm greatly honored, greatly, greatly honored. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you and marrying with me. Thank you, thank you. And and humbled. And humbled. Ahsan Jazakallah. Ahsan. <laughs>